hey guys uh, welcome to the channel so today's video is going to be a pretty interesting one uh, and I'm hoping that I can give you guys a bit of information with this video so you have been seeing me restore bikes since the day I started my channel and since I started my channel I'm on my third documented restoration I'm pretty sure you all feel confident to restore those timeless beauties yourself but uh, it's not as simple as my videos make them look like um, there is a meticulous planning um, if your planning isn't proper uh, and if it is missing then a simple re restoration can actually turn into a money pit um, first things first uh, you need to know what your vision is about the bike do you want to do a stock restoration or you want to modify it to your taste this is a very important question that you need to keep in mind if you do not have a mental image of what you are trying to achieve you will end up building the bike as per someone else's taste and that's where all the problems start if the person who has the vision is not spending the money then in true sense money is not an issue for him he can go all bonkers well that's not even the worst part if their vision doesn't align with yours the end result would definitely be a disaster and i cannot stress enough on this part of having a vision which is very important so uh, usually what happens is uh, people uh, you know kind of use their mechanics vision the mechanic says okay let's play paint flames on the tank people end up doing that but ultimately uh, you know this is something that you start losing interest once you know people start commenting on it so having a vision is a very important thing so now that i have stressed a bit on the vision um, let's talk about the different versions of vision so first we are going to discuss about the vision of restoring it as per the stock specifications so if it's a stock restoration then your first question is if budget is a constraint actually the first question ideally should be your overall budget not the vision but you know if you do not have a vision about the restoration then budget is immaterial uh, but let's say you have a vision to do a complete stock restoration you have to then break uh, the entire build um, and split it into three categories okay so first would be consumables uh, second category would be broken items uh, third would be preventive maintenance there's also a fourth category which is paint and chrome plating so i'm not going to get into that as of now uh, but let's talk about the consumables uh, so consumables would be your cables, rubber bits, oils, uh, brake shoes. Um, broken would be bad bearings, bad piston, damaged rings, electricals. Uh, preventive maintenance are things which could include clutch plates, steel plates, some bearings while you are in there. Like say for example you split the crank and that is when you need to replace all the crank bearings. Uh, I mean the crankcase bearings and then all the oil seals obviously reed valves etc I'm not going to discuss examples of chrome plating and painting since they are self-explanatory okay so to start with make an exhaustive list divide it into consumables broken items and preventive maintenance okay so all the consumables would be something which is going to be completely non-negotiable so you have to replace them regardless but preventive maintenance is where you can go a bit pennywise. If you can decide not to touch the engine, then that can prevent a lot of cost. But then you will be riddled with the question when you decide to do the engine. Okay. So the answer is simple. If there is a problem with the engine, then you have to do it. But what exactly is a problem? Okay. So problems could be oil leakage or seepage, major noise coming from the engine. Uh, lack of compression piston slap the issues will be around these actually okay things like 
clutch slippage, bad oil, water mixed in oil doesn't come into the engine rebuild class. These can be sorted without getting deep inside the engine actually. So once you have a comprehensive list of things to buy, then see what all things can be reused or refurbished. For bikes like Yamaha RX, buying new chrome parts is usually cheaper than going ahead and chroming stuff. So buying a new tank is better than painting your old tank, especially if it has rust. Even small amounts of rust are terminal. Get all the nuts and bolts zinc dipped. I have recently bought the entire nut and bolt kit for an RX and it was above 4K. So, you know, if you want to save money, make sure you get the nuts and bolts zinc dipped. You know, I know there are cheaper, uh, you know, Delhi nuts and bolt kits available, but getting your stuff zinc dipped is cheaper than buying some locally made Delhi crap. You know, it might not work cheap but it surely will influence your overall build quality and ensure uh, your overall part hunting doesn't go crazy uh, since some nuts and bolts like the foundation bolt is no longer available so decide on whether you are particular about oe stuff this is very important if that is the case then be ready to shell out some big money to get some um, you know new, new old stock uh, there are people selling new old stock mud guards for rx for 10k yes you actually heard it right so i recently came across an ad where one guy was selling the front and back mud guard for 10k so it's always ideal to collect all the spares before you you know take a plunge once you collect all the spares make sure you keep them safe okay now you know it's very important because most of the spares that you buy if you don't store it in a safe place then chances of getting them lost while you're doing the build is pretty uh, you know easy uh, now you know if your vision is about uh, going to the modded route then actually sky is the limit but again uh, think do you really want to make it into that cafe racer or you know is it worth putting that enduro kit on your bike do you really want those motocross tires if you you are riding 90% on proper roads do you really need that chamber you know which is actually used for making more sound than power so modding the bike is not a simple decision it's usually something that is a result of a main idea getting stuck in your brain you know which is great actually you see a bike of your dreams and you want it no matter what slowly you start you know printing pictures of your inspiration people will photo with photoshop skills and other tool knowledge will get you to your desired render even you know without turning one bolt or a nut okay the technology definitely helps in the good olden days you know we had no option but to create templates using cardboard and paper so that is that is not the case anymore you know things uh, can be done digitally before you want to actually uh, you know put that into production so make sure uh, that you you know create a digital image of what you want to achieve from with the bike and then do it uh, avoid things like you know putting multiple spokes to the hub because you know while you drill those holes it actually makes the hub very brittle and weak and you know these uh, aluminium hubs are not built to last so it's it's very important that you're very careful on the modifications you do um, you know things like shocks fancy shocks are good but uh, make sure it is for the bike uh, which is in the weight class of your bike otherwise you know that is going to mess up the handling like anything so these are a couple of things which you need to um, you know keep in your head uh, if you take care of these things then obviously you can have a great restoration otherwise uh, like I said it turns into a money pit uh, these bikes get stuck at mechanics sometimes customers lose interest in their bikes so these kind of things are very common so you know it is it is very important you know exactly what you're getting yourself into um, you know these videos can definitely be an inspiration and you can decide to start building your own bike restoring your own bikes yourself but you know try and understand 
there is a negative side to it as well so make sure you know both the sides before uh, you know you start into any kind of restoration so i hope uh, you enjoyed this video if you did like share and subscribe and thanks a lot for watching this video have a good night bye bye